One of the unique features of the HyperDeck Shuttle HD is the ability to load rich text files and play them back just like a teleprompter. So let's explore how this works and some of the options along the way. Loading a rich text file. I script all my videos in Google Docs, so let's start there. Here's my script for this actual video, and I can use the file and download option to download it as a rich text file. Of course, you can use other text editors as well, as long as they export RTF files. I've mounted an SD card on my computer here, and I can drag and drop that RTF onto my SD card. Inserting this same SD card into my HyperDeck now lets me load it up in prompter mode. The first thing I want to make sure though is that the HyperDeck is in prompter mode. It's a bit of a strange choice here, but this is done in the record menu under the codec options. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, it allows me to choose this teleprompter mode. After a quick reboot, the script loads and I can see it right away. Playback. Operating the teleprompter is much like playing back videos on the HyperDeck. I can press the play button and it starts scrolling through the text. I press the stop button and it'll stop it or pause it. Then I can press the jog button and it activates the jog mode to smoothly scroll through the text and script as I need it. Next, the scroll button lets me move a lot faster through the script and it's pretty useful for finding a particular location within the script. If I press jog and scroll together, it goes into shuttle mode. Now this is much more useful to me since I can play back and change the playback speed while I talk through my script. A small turn clockwise on the search dial will play it back slowly, and then a small turn again will play it back a bit faster and faster and faster. I would love to see a speed indicator somewhere on the playback here. It'd be really helpful to know what speed I'm running at, and that way I can get to know what speed I prefer whenever I'm speaking through my scripts. To jump back to the start of a script, I can use the backward skip button or the forward skip button to jump to the end. And if I have multiple RTFs loaded on this SD card, I can use these skip buttons to jump between those multiple scripts. Quick script updates. An extremely common scenario whenever using a prompter is that the scripts need changed fast or on the fly. Now my testing so far says that it's not really possible to do pretty fast on the HyperDeck Shuttle HD. You can use the network connection on the HyperDeck to get FTP access to the XD card. However, I did try editing that same text file on my computer, overwriting it on the SD card, but it didn't update on the script output. Best case scenario here would be to use a V2, V3, V4 naming system and then load those onto the SD card and jump between them with the skip buttons. I would really love to see improvements made here to speed up this whole process. It can often be something that's really needed during a live production or a live stream, and it's really nice to be able to change things fast. Size, margin, and flipping. Within the menu, you can make changes to the teleprompter layout. In here, we can set the font size, the line spacing, and the side margin. I did find that 20% wasn't quite high enough of a number for my uses. I would like to see it up to 50% just to get that text really squeezed in for certain scripts. Also in the menu, you can set the horizontal or vertical flip. This flipping option is super nice to have built into the device. Typically we've relied on the prompter display or some sort of a converter to do that flipping, but having it built in is really nice to have. Alternative controls. With your HyperDeck Shuttle HD connected up to your ATEM, you can use the ATEM software control for full playback controls of the script. I've added the IP address of my HyperDeck in here and connected to it. Now in the Media Players tab, I can see the two scripts loaded onto my device. And from here, I can press play, pause, and shuttle through my script. Future improvements. One of the things I'd really like to see in this device in the future is some sort of progress bar or percentage so I can see how far through my script I am. This would be really helpful for loading in multiple versions and then I can jump between them and tell what percentage through my script I was. And as mentioned before, I would love to see some playback speed indication and some faster versioning of the files and an increased limit of the side margins. Those would be really nice. You'll find another video on the HyperDeck Shuttle HD in the video description, which tells you about the playback, recording, and all the other features of the device. So go check that out. And I would love to hear if you're using this for your prompters or you're thinking about using it and any improvements you'd like to see so we could package them all up, send them off to Blackmagic Design and maybe see them in there in the future. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.